Wow, it has been a while since I've made a video for you, Maddie. Sorry about that. I've been super crazy busy this semester. Um, there's been a lot of updates to my life, I guess, happening lately. Um, rugby's really picked up. We have two final games and then our season's over. Um, finals are in two, three weeks, um, which is concerning for a number of reasons. Uh, I've continued to have really difficult comp sci labs. Um, and just generally I've been like really busy, um, so I feel bad that I haven't made you videos, but you haven't made me any either, so we're about even there. I was watching a uh, documentary on Frontline about like internet culture and likes and this generation's obsession with getting likes and being well liked online and what the like companies that make money off of us <laughs> like how we are being used by these companies. I was thinking a lot about that as like a concept that like me being on Tumblr for like two hours is actually just like giving money to a company um, and it doesn't give me anything. But the thing is it gives me like not necessarily fulfillment but it gives me entertainment and it gives me like a sense of community not just in Tumblr but like to some extent in Facebook and YouTube especially. Um, if I feel like these companies create a platform that they don't necessarily expect or know for sure what's going to happen with that platform, but then it just goes out in the world and people make of it what they will. Like Tumblr was bought by Yahoo and like that was a huge thing that we were all like conscious of was it was becoming more and more corporate and yet we're still on the site because we've grown to love this community despite like the corporate <laughs> Uh, ownership of it now but I don't know really what I'm trying to say I'm, bas I'm basically trying to say that like I feel like it gets to the point where this platform that they've created no longer is solely theirs um, just like how when you read a book it's no longer just the authors it to some extent belongs to the readers um, and to the people who like it and think about it and are aware of it um, and I feel like to some extent that's the same thing with social media sites is that or at least with like tumblr and YouTube especially is we are on it because it's more than just a site there's people connected to it outside of just the screen in front of us um, I don't know, I found that with going to VidCon last year was like, holy shit, YouTube is larger than just YouTube, and it connects us in ways that are not just for advertising or for profits, and maybe to, to the companies they are like that, and that's fine, but I don't mind them making a little bit of ad money off of my views or likes or whatever. I don't mind them making a bit of money off of it if it means they can continue giving me a service that I really enjoy. And to say that teenagers and people of our generation are ignorant or stumbling into the plots of advertisers is really underestimating the intelligence of our generation. And it makes me kind of angry that people think that if we are just enjoying something that we can't be critical of it, because I think that's something that we should be able to do, that we should be able to both like something and be able to be critical of it. That's why like, we can think things are problematic but still enjoy them. We can understand the roles of sexism and racism within our culture and still enjoy our culture to some extent. Uh, I don't really know where I'm going with this, but I'm just thinking things and saying things. Um, anyways. Uh, I will try to make a video for you on Thursday as well. We'll see how that goes, but um, I just had a bit of time, so I thought I'd make a little something. Um, anyways, I'll see you on Thursday, and you, or you will see me on Thursday, and I'll see you whenever you decide to make a video, you lazy bitch. Alright, see ya. Bye.